What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of my Evil Dead 2 cosplay series. Today's episode, we're gonna be weathering the shirt and the pants. As you can probably tell with the desk behind me, I'm still working on the chainsaw. So I'm gonna try to get this video out as soon as possible. So I'm gonna leave you off here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to get more updates and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy and please share it with anyone else you think might be interested. But that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoy the video and are able to follow along and I'll talk to you guys next time. So I'm gonna start off by cutting off the right arm and I'm gonna do that with an X-Acto knife. Reason being, scissors give way too clean of a cut. Whereas an X-Acto knife, it, I have more control I never get used to cutting up perfectly good clothes wish I did that to the front the first strip I'm gonna cut goes from down here this is where the shirt gets tucked into my pants right here I'm gonna cut along the edge of this seam here very roughly from what I could see in reference photos not it's not very uh, clean here it's very zigzag zaggedy and the first one's gonna go up to about right here and I'm gonna cut like a triangle right here that's where the first flap is gonna fall down so you see I'm, I'm kind of scoring the denim so that when I pull it apart, it goes where I scored it, but I still get these beautiful frayed edges. I just tried the shirt on with the harness and I don't like how much meat is here on the shoulder. So I'm actually gonna go beyond the seam here and cut all the way down here and then I'm gonna cut below way down here. So what I've been doing here is using my airbrush to go along the edges that I see, all the torn areas, and then I'm gonna go over it on the every seam as well. And then after that, I'm using sandpaper to take most of it off, and it gives it leaves me with just a dirty look. It doesn't look like I was just rolling around in grease. It looks like the dirt and grime is actually staining into the fabric. So right now I'm going over with uh, blacks and then uh, later on I'm going to go over it with some browns and even a little bit of red. The torn areas all have blood around them. For now I'm just, I'm just trying to uh, make it dirty and then at the same time as I'm sanding it, you can see here on the pocket how it's picking up on these little creases and making it more noticeable that it's uh, worn and not, not just a brand new shirt that I decided to tear up. So this hand is the one with the chainsaw, which means it's going to be, I think, the most uh, bloodiest one because uh, it's a freaking chainsaw. So I'm going to add some blood all over this, mostly over here on the chainsaw hand, and then it will gradually like decrease the further it goes. And I'm going to make sure that every uh, blood splatter is facing away from where the chainsaw is. You can see these are pretty dry, so you can see what the color is gonna turn into. So you can see I added a bit more blood and on the arm especially, I added some black over that just to kind of deepen the red. After I put the red on the sleeve, I thought it was a bit much. So I dunked this in water and then wringed out all the water and then put it in my dryer. And then I added black over the arm here and over some of these seams again. 
And then after a full night of just drying, here is what we turned out with. And I actually think it looks really nice. It looks a little darker on camera, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now the only thing left to do is just to drop this on my garage floor so I could get the dirt like it has here on the collar. So apparently it's really hard to find brown pants these days. So here is a really, really dark brown. I'm just gonna paint brown over it. I'm gonna add this paint to the points of most resistance. For example, the thighs, the knees, the calves, and the buttocks. Now I'm gonna go in and dark brown on parts that I think I'm gonna absorb the most dirt and stuff. For example, the cuffs of the pants. I'm sure that he's like stepping on a lot of dirt. He's on his butt sometimes. The knees are definitely gonna get some. And of course the thighs as well. Now I'm adding the black on the same similar how I did on the shirt. So now I'm gonna add final touches like scratches, torn little bits, and then some extra blood splatter. And then I'm gonna add some more black if I see any areas that I think have too much brown. And then I think I'll consider this done. Thank you guys so much for watching this short video. This weathering process took about a day. I started it very late last night and then finished this afternoon. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. The chainsaw is pretty much all I have left. I still need to get the shoes as well, but I don't plan on weathering those. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So it'll be a big help if you could also share this video with anyone you think might be interested. That's pretty much all I have to say for now. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram to get more updates on things that I do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I do. Goodbye.